everyone, Catum's Tech here. So in today's video, I wanted to discuss what I personally believe is the easiest part about being a junior software engineer. But first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Christopher Adams. I am a senior software engineer living in Tampa, Florida. Uh, the purpose and the goal of my channel is to provide you with some useful information in the realm of software engineering. And if you feel like you've gotten any, remember to like, subscribe, and share this with anyone that you know is interested in learning development. All right, so what do I believe is the easiest part about being a junior software engineer? And I'm going to go ahead and get right on into it. Learning the technologies, right? I feel like that is the easiest part. Um, learning the fundamentals. So let me give you some examples. So I'm talking about if you're doing front end or full stack, learning the basics of HTML, learning the basics of CSS. You don't have to get too deep with CSS. Just learn the basics. Um, learn the basics of programming languages in general, right? So that's the fundamentals. Those are things like the difference between consts and variables, the difference between, or not the difference between, but learning if, else if, else statements, learn functions, learn for loops, learn while loops, learn classes, learn how to structure a class, learn how to instantiate a class, learn what the this keyword means. Um, and these are all universal concepts between pretty much almost all all programming languages. So getting a solid grasp of these is what I'm talking about when, in terms of being a junior software engineer, I feel like this is the easier thing because this is something that once you get it, it's gonna click with you forever. It's gonna be like, okay, every single programming language, how do I write an if statement? How do I write a for loop? How do I write this? How do I write that? So that's what I mean with that. Now, in terms of full stack or backend only, I would say the same thing, learn the base. This also applies for the programming. So what I just said for the front end, same thing on the back end. Um, and then learn the basics of database stuff. Learn how to insert, read, update, delete. Um, and that is, um, and not in a complicated sense. You don't have to do all these fancy joins and all of these things quite yet. Just learn how to do the CRUD operations on maybe say one record or a few records and you're good to go as a junior. So that's basically what I mean in terms of tech being the easiest for junior juniors. Just learn the basics of each of these things. You don't have to get crazy deep with it yet. You don't have to do any of that. Just focus on getting the basics down with these things and understanding them well, because this is going to be the foundation of your entire career. And there are other aspects of being a junior software engineer that are hard. And I've created a video for what that is, and it's called the hardest part of being a junior software engineer. So go ahead and check it out. And overall, this is an opinionated video, right? For some people, learning tech might be the most difficult thing. Maybe they're great at the other parts of being a junior software engineer. Um, but for me personally, I feel like the tech, it feels like playing a video game, it's exciting, and it came easier to me. That's about it. I want to keep this video short and sweet. So let me know down in the comments what you feel like the easiest part of being a junior software engineer is. I'm very curious. I have a lot of content coming out for you guys soon. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this with anyone that you know is interested in learning development. Till next time, see you all later.